Hey guys, it's Phil Squad here from Great Effects. Now, I got an email a little while ago asking me for some tips and techniques, or just tips and tricks on how to use a Wacom tablet in Nuke. So what I'm going to do is just show you the way I use it, or some quick ways that I use it, and also show you the setup that I use. So what you want to do is just go down to the Wacom tablet properties. So if you just load it up there and click on Wacom tablet properties. I'm just going to set this back to default. So as you can see, on default, when you, when you sort of click down on the pen, it's just a standard click. When you click this next button along, it's a right click, and the top button there would be a double click. So what I'm going to do is just change this. This bottom one here, I'm going to make the middle click button, and the top one I'm going to change to the right click button. So if you just have a look now and just see what they are. So if you double click down on the pen by just tapping down twice, it'll just be the same as a double click now. You've got the middle mouse button, which has now been mapped to here, and the right or the, you know, the right click button is at the top here. So now what I'm going to do is just close this down, and um, I'm going to quickly show you. So if I do the right click, which is the top button, you can now do things like create a new folder, or if I now double click the pen down, so just double tap it down, you can, it's the same as th sort of double clicking on a mouse. And the bottom button is now the middle click button. So what I'm gonna do is um, just delete that, right click delete, and I'm gonna jump into Nuke now, and then we can have a look at how you can use it in Nuke. Right, now inside of Nuke, I'm gonna show you just the, some of the basic uses of a Wacom tablet. Now, first of all, we'll just start with the basics. Right. If you hold down just the click button by itself, so you just push down the pen nib, it will now drag a box. So this is what you can use to select things. For example, if I just create a quick rotor node, and I come in here and just create a few points. Let's just say I wanted to rotoscope this. And now you wanted to select some of these points. You could just go and click on one of them. Or if you wanted to click on a few, you just push down with the pen nib and drag a box. And that way you can select uh, a couple of different points. And you can do this with any other node in Nuke as well. So I'll just delete that for a moment. If you push down the middle mouse button or the middle click button, it will just scroll along like that. So it's the same with the image. If you just push the middle one down, you don't have to be sort of tapping down on the Wacom tablet at this point. Literally, if you just hover slightly over it and hold the middle click button down, you can now sort of scroll along on any viewer like that. The right click would be the sort of same thing as right clicking with the mouse. So bring up your menus. And let's see what else can we do here. For zooming in, if you hold the middle click button down and then put the pen nib on the Wacom tablet and then just push or scroll up and down on the tablet, so just push up or push down, you can zoom in and zoom out. So which is very handy for examples like this when you want to get in and do some rotoscoping. So if I bring up a rotor node, I can now, let's say I'm out here, I can now quickly by holding the middle button click the pen nib down and sort of push forward on the Wacom tablet, you can zoom in and then suddenly you can come really close, start doing some, creating a few roto points, come in and do that and then you can zoom straight back out again and then, I don't know, do something over here, whatever you needed to do. Just an example. And then you could zoom back out and continue doing whatever you need to do. So those are just the basics of using a Wacom tablet in Nuke and all the things that I told you, you can use in many different nodes. It all sort of works the same way. So hopefully that's helpful to you and I hopefully I've answered the question um, regarding using the Wacom tablet. If you have any other questions or you want me to sort of d delve any further in with this, just um, leave a comment below and I will try to answer your questions as soon as I can. And once again, thanks for watching and please be sure to subscribe to the channel. See you guys next time.